Hey, how's it going, you guys? Welcome back to 99. Last episode, we supposedly defeated the Evil Eye user. Ghost is no more. Commander lost his artifact because we used Ambrosia. So everything's good, right? Like, there's absolutely nothing else that could go wrong. I mean, I don't even know why there's another two episodes. Like, obviously, we've defeated all the enemies and things are great, right? Probably not, but we'll see. Let's go ahead and continue on. I want to see how this is going to end here. I'm going to try to finish the game in this episode we'll see maybe not uh might be two uh we'll, we'll just have to see but i'm pretty sure i'm like right towards the end just have to do the the stuff with sora right the the eight scenes we gotta fit that in there of course but just in case sora and i are taking the day off from school today too fortunately sora's powers have completely vanished mom remembers us again in fact she's even forgotten that she forgot us in the first place how convenient I end up spinning a story about how I accidentally gave Sora my cold, and while Mom does yell at me about it, at least it works to get her to call us in sick for one more day. Normally, I'm annoyed about sitting through her lectures, but this time, as I'm listening to her chew me out, only feels relief. Once I'm done talking to Mom, I call up Miss Naruse and let her know that my petrification has healed. In response, she says, Of course, we're involved in everything that goes on in this town. She's a sharp one. Well, she is best girl, after all. I mean, I would I would assume she's smart. Come up with a believable excuse to get her off my case. Akujo's suggestion, once we left the shrine, we went back to the payphone of the station and called an ambulance. When the paramedics asked us what the emergency was, we said we found someone collapsed at the shrine. Thanks to that, I'm pretty sure Takamine was safely picked up. But the arrival of the ambulance would have caused a stir, and I'm sure Miss Naruse would have had to deal with fielding questions and whatnot. I have to apologize to her, but I'm not sure I should tell her everything that happened. Regardless, we've completed our mission. I can finally rest easy. By the time I woke up, the bits of my fingers that Takamine had managed to petrify were back to normal. And now Sora is completely free from her artifact's curse with no lingering side effects. Perfect. I like it. Just means we're gonna... Get together for our sister. I'm, I'm still curious how they're gonna do that. Are they just gonna be like, oh, I was, you know, we're just gonna acknowledge, hey, we both kind of have feelings for each other, and we're like, okay. Because of how hard I pushed myself yesterday, my stigma expanded from my fist, now goes all the way up to my elbow. Fortunately, I haven't undergone any physical or mental changes as a result. Everything's turning out okay. Every time I read that, though, I'm like, mm, it's not gonna turn out okay. <laughs> just read some crap. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming this is only the beginning of a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm sure the next couple episodes will have a lot. And then I have no clue what the after episode thing is. I wonder if that's just like a nice, happy thing. <laughs> Probably not. It'd be nice if everything's just resolved now, sure. Sora applies half-heartedly, her gaze focused on my computer monitor. I think over her shoulder and see what, that she's scanning the news. Probably for the better. I figured the discovery of a second petrified person would make the headlines. But so far, no one said a word. Even though we didn't do anything to her after she died, ghosts continued eroding away. Maybe by the time the ambulance had arrived, she completely turned to dust. I'm, I'm hoping that is the end of Ghost. Like, the, there's not going to be, like, some... <gasps> ghost is back! Wow! And she's a ghost this time! Like, an actual ghost! <laughs> Please don't do something stupid like that. I'm not sure if that's because her powers are still going berserk, or if Sophie did something to keep the instant from blowing up. I mean, I would imagine Sophie, like, kind of... hatched it up. We'll see. Uh, another thing that's bugging me now is how Takamine was able to use the evil eye. Had he Was he also contracted to it? Everything should have been resolved, but I still have a few questions left. Um, is it possible he has an artifact that copies other artifacts? That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I've noticed as I've gotten older, when I get sick, I don't want to sleep as much. When I was a kid and I was sick, like, I would sleep all freaking day. And now it's like... No, I don't, I don't even, like, I feel exhausted, but I don't feel like going to sleep. It's like, I definitely do sleep a little bit when I'm sick, but not, like, when I was a kid. But I can imagine if, um, yeah, if you're not sick, it's like, what are you supposed Mama. to do? 
今日は完全なズル休みだし夕方まで暇だな But I'm trying to figure out why are they playing hooky? Like it said they were gonna just take another day off, but why? Our schools, once school's over, everyone's gonna gather at my apartment. Sophie said she'd explain everything to us tonight, but the two of us have nothing to do until then. Uh, it, it's probably because of his fingers, right? Like, because his fingers got turned to stone, but it seems like that's already healed, so. So to fill the time, it gives Sora the whole story of what happened while she was unconscious. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, you made me disappear. Your 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 powers went berserk. They weren't actually gone, and I just poofed. Apparently Sora woke up not long after I left. When she saw I wasn't around, she panicked and tried to call my phone. I don't think Sora would be able to use her phone for a while after waking up, so I left my own phone back home, which ended up being a mistake. Worried that something might have happened to me, Sora totally forgot the possibility that her powers were still affecting her and tried to call Kujo instead. Of course, the fact that she could use her phone in the first place meant that her powers effects had vanished, but she hadn't realized that at the time. <laughs> at any rate, Kujo didn't seem the least bit, least bit upset when Sora called her in the middle of the night, agreeing to start searching for me right away. Next, Kujo let Yuki know I was missing via group messages. Meanwhile, Sora got changed and prepared to head out to go look for me. Well, it's very convenient that everything seems to happen at the shrine. The shrine is just this big point of interest for everybody, so it's pretty easy to know probably where we went. That's when she saw my note. So in the end, it was Sora's panic screw up to save the day. <laughs> probably. Right as she was about to text Kuja that the emergency was over, Sophie showed up. That was probably right after Ghost shredded my Sophie mask to bits. Sophie explained to Sora that I was fighting Ghost and told her to head to the shrine. Which is why, or which is how everyone knew. To show up there to save me. Kozaka Senpai Niwa, Renda Kutorana Katanoga. Ah, Awatetokora Supumuketeta Yuki Senpai wa Guru Puchato de Shuni Renda Kudekita Kedo, Haruka Senpai wa Hai de Nokotashi. Meaning it really was a coincidence that Kozaka Senpai arrived at the perfect time to save me. Yeah, just everyone just so happens to show up. For King, the only person who didn't show up was for King Yoichi, and I know he's got powers. Or he's the villain. He's probably watching from the sidelines, just going, ha ha ha. Just doing an evil laugh. Guess I could have saved myself a lot of trouble if I just waited a little bit longer for everyone to gather. Well, I did go after Ghost of a plan of mine, the, the plain and simple of it was I hadn't trusted my friends enough. Yeah, friendship makes everything right, man. I don't know why you didn't trust them more. Trying to do things without your friends. How, how could you? We eat lunch and kill time until sunset when everyone gathers at my place. The first thing I do when everyone arrives is apologize. うん。私こそ。ごめんなさい。とても頼ってもらえるような状況じゃなかったから。そうね。記憶が抜け落ちていた実家はある。あなたやソラのことを私は気にも止めていなかった。責められる立場にないわね。下手したら起きなかったかも
Oh, she's back to calling us broski. I don't know if y'all remember. It was either episode 12 or 13. Like, she started calling us her Nichon. Like, it, it didn't say broski. I was like, what the heck? Oh, sorry, is she done talking? Okay, we can keep moving on, guys. Yep, she's gonna wake up, what, like 5,000 years later in Dr. Stone? Kosuka Senpai interrupts me. She doesn't want me to have to say it. I guess I should accept that kindness. I can't see her interrupting anybody because her voice is so low and she talks so slow. Like, how, how do you interrupt somebody with that? So there, the other is everything else I learned about Ghost. I know, we got rid of a waifu, guys. It, it was a sacrifice we had to make, but... I know, I know some of y'all must be ghost fans. All I hear about is y'all with Sora. All, all y'all want to talk about is Sora. What about the other girls? What, what other girls do you guys like? Do you like Ghost? Do you think Ghost is good? Nobody so far has agreed with me that Teacher is best girl. Like, what's going on, guys? Come on. Sorry, does I know that she had at least three artifacts? Evil Eye, an artifact that let her summon spears, and one that let her teleport. Where, all, where she got all of them is still unknown. I thought we talked about this before. Wasn't it someone's helping her from the, uh, the other, the other Sephiroth? Because there's one that's like a more moderate, and there's one that's more radical, right? There's also Takamine. He was able to use Evil Eye's power after all. As why that is, none of us knows. Um, I don't think it's likely that there's like a second Evil Eye. I just feel like that doesn't make sense. I feel like it's more of a case of maybe he has an artifact that can copy another artifact. I don't think there is two evil eyes, though. I think that seems unlikely. I think there's probably artifacts that do very similar things to each other, but there's not, like, two of any artifact. That would be my guess, but I could be totally wrong. We'll see. After we're done swapping stories, the five of us fall silent. Then when the, the person with all the answers shows up. Or, or that's when the person with all the answers shows up. A retainer. Like, for your teeth? Yuki's eyes sparkle with curiosity. The word must have tickled her chuny sensibilities. We're back to best girl, maybe. I mean, besides teacher, of course. I, I, I think, like, the teacher and then Noah. Like, I don't know why. I liked, I just started liking Noah now. Like, after that whole interaction with her and Commander, I was just like, this is best girl material right here. Besides me, of course. I like me, but so it's too. What? Why? Why is that a thing? I don't feel like that's good. Okay, nobody asked, so... ペラペラと話したおばかさんがいたみたいね。そっか。アーティファクトが教えてくれないなら知っている人に聞くしかない。ソフィーさんと同じ異世界の住人が魔岩の<笑><笑> I'm guessing no, because she doesn't seem very surprised. Like anyone from another world. Uh, I'm going to throw this out right now. I think Commander is going to come back. So we got rid of his artifact or whatever, right? But... I don't know. Since he got it shared with him, did he even have an artifact in the first place, or did he just have part of the power shared with him? I'm not sure how that works. I'm sure that's kind of where they're going to go into and explain that, maybe at some point. I doubt they're going to explain it all right now. 
But uh, I think Commander's going to come back. I think he's going to be talking to whoever this is on the other world or whatever. I think that's where we're going with this. He's going to be like the new big baddie. But he's going to be way stronger now. And he's going to be able to fulfill all of his chuny ambitions. So? They don't really make it too easy to see the artifact, especially on the sprites. It's not like it's something very obvious, at least not that I've seen. Um, so we've only seen accessories as artifacts. I wonder, can it be something bigger than that? Like, can it be your entire outfit? Because a ghost always wears that kind of, uh, in like insane asylum type, type looking thing. And I'm wondering, is that an artifact? I don't know. Uh, Renya, on the other hand, doesn't have anything, from what I can tell, that's, like, super obvious. Not super noticeable. But, uh, Ghost does wear that kind of extreme outfit, so that could have been something. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, hold up, I was getting so into this, I'm like, what are we talking about again? <laughs> were you able to recover the evil eye? What do you mean you weren't able to recover it? Um, Sophie, that's kind of a big deal. Do, can you go into that more, please? Yeah, okay, never mind. I was wrong about Renny, I guess. He's not going to be the big final boss. Um, I, I could see him getting more power, though. I could see this person loaning them more. どうやらそんなやっと解決できたと思ったのに。そんなに悲観することはないわよ。フードのあの子。仮に剣族だとしたらとんでもない才能だわ。あそこまで力を引き出すなんて。Okay, I'm gonna be honest though with you guys. And maybe I'll I'll change my mind as I learn more about it. I'm not like a huge fan of the concept of being able to loan your artifact or like loan the power from the artifact. I feel like that just makes it way more complicated than it needs to be. I don't think anyone should have a power unless they have an artifact that's bonded to them. Uh, I just feel like that that just seems more logical to me. I, I feel like how does how does loaning your power to somebody work? I feel like you could just do that to anybody. Uh, so then I, that really makes it hard to guess who has what. I mean, it was already hard, I feel like, to, to figure that out. So I feel like this makes it even more hard. Like, can Miyako still steal an artifact from them? Do they have anything on their person to steal? Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. But we'll, we'll see. I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm keeping my mind open. You know, I'm, I'm I'm just saying as of right now the information I have and what I what I can understand. I'm like eh, I don't know how I feel about that. So Commander could technically come back, do some crazy things. This also opens up to Yoichi being able to have powers too. If he if he's in talks with Commander and Commander gets more powers and then Commander gets Yoichi, Yoichi could have art an artifact too, or or borrow one. I guess I I don't really know. I still think Yoichi's bad. Maybe, maybe he hasn't been this whole time, but I think he is going to be. Yeah.剣族として分け与えた力は通常はかなり弱体化するの。あそこまで使える子はめったにいない。性格面でもそうよね。力をばらまいてこの世界を混乱させようとしていると If our nemesis goal is to sow confusion in the world by spreading the artifact's power everywhere, does that mean they're going to try to spread it to as many people as possible? Okay, I'm a little bit confused by this. So... So that line I just read, spreading the artifact's power everywhere. I would assume that means you're trying to get into the hands of as many people as possible. 
Uh, but then she goes on to say, we've struck a severe blow. You'd be hard pressed to find another pawn with that combination of callous and capability. So obviously Ghost was like a prime candidate for it. Probably someone who would actually be able to cause a lot of destruction with it. Um, but why would that necessarily mean that there's going to be a lot of peace? Like, sure, we got rid of a good pawn, right? But I'm sure there's plenty of other people out there like that. Like, yes, they're probably pretty rare. I doubt too many people share her personality. Like, okay, I get that. But that doesn't mean there's not going to be a lot of people out there who'd be willing to do something like that. Like, sure, there's not a lot, but there is a good chunk, I, and I'm willing to imagine. Uh, and then if they're trying to share these powers everywhere, they could cause chaos just by giving tons of everyday normal people these artifacts. Now, is everyone going to use them for bad? Probably not. So they probably need to find someone who's willing to. But uh, I don't know if I believe that we're going to see any peace. I don't usually like towards the start of the episode there's like peace and it's like whatever we're happy right <coughs> but it feels like as we get into it there's there's a lot less and it's usually only peace because they're planning something they're building up to something so i don't know if i believe that sophie so like is this just another another person in sephiroth that's like going around finding users to bind the evil eye to. Like they're not actually getting the evil eye, but they're finding someone to bind it to. I'm a little bit confused by this. Uh, I don't really want any spoilers, so please don't let me know. But I'm, I'm just trying to voice my thoughts out loud. Well, <laughs> Okay, I'm calling Cap on that one. I don't believe that for a second. But I'm guessing, so after this episode, we're going to go back. We're going to go back a little bit. They're going to go, like, to a certain point, right? Uh, kind of like they did with this episode. Like, they kind of, like, backtracked on episode one and went to the certain point, and then things started changing. So that's probably what's going to happen with this one, right? Maybe something like that. Maybe not go as far back, though. Um, so I, I guess this technically doesn't matter, because as of right now, like, sure, like, that's probably true. But, like, we're going to probably be in another branch where things happen differently. Yeah. Sorry, I've been, like, talking more this episode than I've been playing, but I'm just, like, I have all these thoughts going in my mind. I'm, like, trying to trying to figure it out. Sophie vanishes before Kujo even finishes thanking her. So there's either a mastermind or a new user of the evil eye. Uh, I think it's likely that there's a mastermind and they're going around giving people the, the evil eye, from what I've heard. I thought it was over, but I guess not. So there isn't, at least there isn't anyone out there who's going around killing people for fun anymore, that you know of. Uh, peace has returned to our town. Even if it's only a momentary reprieve, we can rest easy for now. Mina. お疲れ様。ありがとう。ま、もともと私がお願いしたことだし、こちらこそありがとうございました。We take a second to appreciate this. Look at this waifu squad we got going on, okay? I I'm sure y'all got a waifu in here. But uh teacher's not here. It's not complete. We don't have teacher, we don't have ghost. Ghost is unironically a waifu. But, uh, it's nice to see all the girls come together, and we're all getting them all in the same room, and they're they're working towards the same goal, right? I think it's pretty cool. Let's see. They each have, like, a kind of different eye color, too. We got, like, purple with Sora. We got, like, this kind of dark blue. Oh, kind of, like, a deeper blue with Miyako. You got, like, this lighter blue. Uh, and then you got red. Interesting. リグウェーダの野望は追えと。バルハラソサイエティも眠りにつく時ね。再び必要になるその時まで。BT dubs? What? You're now one of us, Haruka Senpai. Welcome to the society.
We all welcome our new comrade. After chatting for a while longer, we finalize our plans for a so formal celebration party and call it a day. Honestly, I've been fine with just doing it now, but I guess everyone wants to let me and Sora get some rest. Yeah, we're freaking fine. What do you mean? That's just an excuse to give us a freaking H scene. <laughs> I'm sure I look fine. Stop being a wimp. Alright, we'll see you, Haruka. I'm glad she's opened up to us a little bit, though. She's actually, like, saying goodbye and being nice. That's good. Good. I'm sure we'll see a lot more of that uh, in the next episode. I see everyone off. Wait until I hear Sora lock the door and then return to the living room. I sit down on my bed and heave a sigh. I suppose I still am a little tired. I never knew how exhausting it was to use the artifacts. Okay, let's do it. I like how she starts talking before she even appears. Like, how do you do that? Where is your voice coming from? Sophie was supposed to have left teleports back in. Guess she's got business with me. Huh. I think this is going to be a little juicy. Uh -huh. This is a reference to episode one, right? Where she, um... Uh... Tried to go off and find the evil eye user herself. Those have been able to come to terms with the hooded girl's death. Yeah, she seems to be very sensitive to people dying. Freaking Sophie's been very considerate of us. Okay, well, finally, Frick! ありがとな。みんなを連れてきてくれて。どういたしまして。もっとも私が宮子に力の使い方を教えられたのはあなたのおかげだし、半分はあなたの功績みたいなものね。Wait, Sophie's been teaching her now, huh? Interesting. 俺の? なんで? Uh, you technically are the one that helped her teach her in the first place. わからなくてもいいわよ。You don't need to understand. 大丈夫はどうなの? I will say though, I still love how we're, how they did that. Like how their Sophie is going to other branches, she's learning from these other branches, right? So like it feels like we're we're going back, we're looping back around with each episode. So like we'll go back to like oh right right after the fire guy, right? But now Sophie has a lot of extra knowledge and she can pass that on to us. So we're getting further each time. I like that. I like a lot of those kind of like Groundhog's Day type shows. Uh, really enjoy those. I like a summertime rendering. I've been watching that. Yeah, I think it's definitely useful for him to have. So, I mean, that also goes to show how much Sophie trusts us by letting us just hold on to an artifact. I mean, she, she didn't really have to give it to us. It was kind of important she did, but I mean, she could have just took it back. So if Sophie gives me a little wave and vanishes into a black rift. I mean, to be fair, though, it's not like Sophie has any ambrosia left, so. Flop down onto my bed. I think I'll close my eyes for a bit, just until Sora gets back. Oh no, ghost. She's appearing in her dream. Oh, freaking screw her. Don't listen to that crap. How did you get in here? Oh, 
か大丈夫めっちゃ汗かいてるけど Sorry, I was having a dream about my waifu なんかあれだああ、体がビクってするやつだご飯食べるまだ寝るいや、食べるほいほいじゃあ食べましょう I'm disappointed though She hasn't once said Do you want a bath? Do you want dinner? Do you want me? She hasn't said it yet like worst little sister ever. Wipe the sweat off my forehead, clamber down for the bed instead of the table. Sora brings the strings to sit down across from me. Fried chicken or Salisbury steak? Mm, not sure if I like either of those options. I don't know. I feel like Asian fried steak, that was a little bit different. Or fried steak. Asian fried chicken is a little different. Uh, it's not like what I imagine here in America, you know? I mean, I've definitely had some other kind of fried chicken. Pretty good. Sora pulls out two boxes, two pairs of chopsticks out of the bag next to her and sets them on the table. Grab our respective dinners and start eating. Eh, it's not that important. Ah, I'm almost a week late. Ah, but I didn't forget memories. I didn't leave any notes. Is it okay? I'm fine. 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 Wow, yeah, it kind of does. Strange. It's almost as if it is an ability of the main character now. So, the fighting game of the fire guy protagonist. Trying to think of a fighting game of a fire guy. Stick your hand out and just go. KO, you win! I'm so glad she said that in English. Real Taco always wanted to do that. He's been joking around as we eat our dinner. We were doing this during lunch too, but until today it's been non-stop crises for so long that these casual moments where we can mess around without worry feel especially precious. Once we're done eating, we gather up the empty containers and throw them out. Still feeling a little peckish, we munch through the chocolate Sora brought on her way bought on her way back. We killed time by watching a few movies, but I can tell Sora's getting restless. She's no longer paying attention to the screen instead of shooting furtive glances at me. I could have just pretended I hadn't noticed, but she's probably waiting for me to say something. Bless her source to substrate and adjust her posture. I can more or less guess what's coming. I pause the video and turn to face her. I knew this was coming, guys. It was coming. Um, so I feel like I didn't really like say enough of my thoughts last episode when, wait, it was last episode, right? That's when they were like saying, "Hey, you know, I think I kind of like you, and I kind of like you too." I will say though, as much as like I didn't want a conversation like that to happen, it just it it still feels weird. I'm I'm not gonna lie, but uh, I will say the way they did it was like really natural. Uh, probably how it would actually happen. I mean, maybe making the whole, like, notebook of just pictures of him. Maybe a little bit weird, but I could see somebody doing that. But, uh, yeah, I, I feel like it was pretty natural. So I'm curious to see how are they going to continue broaching that topic. Is it going to continue to feel pretty natural? Even though, it, in my opinion, it's a very unnatural thing. But we'll see how they uh, go about it. Kikuyo. うやむやにしちゃってもよかったんだけど。やっぱりちゃんと言いたくて。私。お兄ちゃんのことが。なんだ
I can't tell if that butt is because she wants to cut me off before I can say anything or because she wants to avoid things getting awkward. Whatever the reason, Sora raises her voice and stares in my eyes. あの時は私おかしくて恋人になんてなれないのは分かってる。ちゃんと分かってる。でもでもさ、やっぱりずっと好きだったからさ、隠しておく気持ち言っちゃったからさ。このままはい、元通りねってのも無理で。だからあの if an inch of my life. Is that supposed to be like super passionately? <笑>口見るか。いいじゃん、一回お願い、一回だけ。それで気持ちに整理つけるから、一発ぶちゅってお前。まだちょっとおかしいんじゃないかって思えるくらい必死だな。いや、カクルいや、ライ。いや。そり
Keep demanding why I should hug her or stroke her hair. Ah, no! Oh, no, no, no! I don't want to see it. Oh, thank goodness. They didn't even show it. I don't really know what you're supposed to do after you kiss someone, and I end up frowning on accident. However, it seems Sora's too shocked to pay attention to the look on my face. She's totally out of it. No. That'll never happen again. Trying to remember, so there's Aishiteru and uh, Daisuke. Daisuke, I think, means like I like you, right? But Aishiteru, I believe, means I love you. So is he is he saying that I love you in like the the Alabama way, or is she saying I love you in the sibling way? They're kind of the same though. I mean, Kakuru might not, but I will. My thoughts are still a mess, so I just clap Sora on the shoulder and end this conversation. I mean, you clap her on the shoulder. How do you clap someone on the shoulder? What does that even mean? Sit back down with Sora still standing in place, stunned. Yeah, I would be stunned too. What do you mean you clap me on the shoulder like that? Are you talking about you just like hit me? Sora so. She slowly brings a finger to her lips. Not exactly sure what's so holy about this crap, but that's all she keeps saying. She keeps repeating those words as she staggers out of the living room. That's probably her first kiss. I know it was mine. I, that I, I wouldn't want my first kiss to be with my sister. And like, if you were young kids or whatever, and you were just messing around, sure. But okay, like you y'all are almost adults. You're in high school. That's kind of I can't believe my first kiss to my sister full of people. I'm not sure how to feel about that. <laughs> now he's saying it too. Before I know it, I'm saying the same thing Sora was. Let me be perfectly honest with myself, that did make my heart pound. Well, it's still pounding. I'm pretty sure I'm not actually into my sister. Freaking. Maybe you are? I think you are, because you started confessing you got a little. You know, you got a little uh, excited when you saw her in the bath. And again, the fact that I'm not 100% sure is it itself is a problem. I should probably stop lying to myself and admit that Sora turns me... <sighs> no. Can we just end... Can I just end the rest of the, the game here? Because I feel like we've gotten everything we need, right? I feel like we've, like, defeated the bad guy. Nothing after this is important, right? I can just go skip to, to, to episode 3, and it'd be great. It'd be great. And then we can get with Haruka, who I'm not a huge fan of, but, you know... Better than this, okay? Chances are we won't be able to act like nothing's happened after this. Maybe that's not a bad thing. I'd be totally okay with this if she's a stepsister. But she's not. I would I wouldn't even flinch. Like I would be totally for it if, if they were step siblings. Like that's that's fine to me. Step siblings? You're not even related. That at least I know for sure. Most important person to you, huh? I'm like, should I end the video here? So, I don't know how much further I have. Because we're, we're about at a stopping point. I could stop here, I could do the rest of the route, and I still need to do the bad end, too. So I might make this one more episode. Like, I, I promise I'm not trying to squeeze this out, but I'm just like, this is going to be like a two-hour episode, probably, if I don't. And I'd rather just make a whole other episode. I don't know. On the weekend at our parents' place, Sora hadn't been back for a good week, but I've been wanting to see mom and dad again. Hearing them welcome us both home was a huge relief. I'm sure Sora felt the same way. Now we know for sure that she's been freed from the artifact's curse. It was nice being reminded of that for a whole, for a whole weekend straight. 
And now it's Monday, the best day of the week, said nobody. It's the mastermind himself. It's the other worlder. Oh. Admit it, you're a part of Sephiroth, aren't you? Don't lie to me. You already knew how I was doing. You've been spying on me. Hey, I talked to Miyako too, so that's not true. I haven't been to school in a week, and it's been great. While the place is much of a pain as always, I am a little glad to be back, and though it's only been a week, it feels a little nostalgic too. I mean, to be fair, I'd probably like anime school, too, just because you don't actually do any real work in there. You mostly just have, like, festivals and things like that, and then you find love interest. I mean, if that was what school was about, I'd be totally down. I'd go back to school right now, but I'm already married, so I'm okay. <laughs> hey. hey, hey, you snitch. I don't want to hear it. I have powers now. I could roast you to death. Even this exchange feels nostalgic. Kuja glances over at me and giggles. We could have had Kuja and said we have our sister. Sad game. Life's gone back to normal. Well, mostly back to normal. Hi. Yes, best girl. I, I agree. We should get started for the day. Bell rings and Miss Naruse enters signaling the start of the day. What's on our bracket for today? Well, what's the plan? Morning classes, lunch break, afternoon classes, final homeroom announcements. Normally school days feel like they drag on forever, but today's passed by in a flash. Miss Naruse wraps up her announcements and school ends. I shove today's homework into a bag and get to my feet. Oh. Your treat? What the frick, my guy? <laughs> Thank goodness. Or she wants to make out with me now that I'm feeling better. I, uh, I drop my bag onto my desk and head to the teacher's podium. Gosh, I want to make a really dirty joke right now, but I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry. I just had to mention it so I felt better about it. <laughs> if only I was a more brave man, I would just make it. I like that old angle. Why do I look pale? Yeah, Show her my right hand. Na naturally, it's no longer petrified, but Miss Naruse seems unconvinced. Guess I have to tell her some part of the story at least. Gosh, I want to make that joke so bad, but it's so dirty. It's so inappropriate. It's gonna bother me. いえ、ただちょっと変な夢見て。それで起きちゃうんですよね。夢ね。それこそ不安の発露のような気もするけど。無理はせず、相談しないよ。友達でもいいし、スクールカウンセラーでもいいし。I like the friend part better. そうですね。はい、そうします。絶対しないでしょ。ひどくなりま。ああ、あの。ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
not my only friend. You you flattered yourself. The grand celebration of my recovery consists of getting some drinks from a vending machine and Yobichi and I part ways at the station. <laughs> we didn't even go out to eat. We just literally got drinks and then said goodbye. Okay, back to our sister, I guess. Onichan, okaeri! Yes, he said Onichan now. The moment I step inside, my obnoxious little sister greets me. She's actually a weird pose and says one of those cl cliched lines in existence. Oh no! No! She's doing it! I told you guys she was gonna do this. I told you. No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. we leave. We, we leave. Don't ask again. <laughs> okay, I'm from. I'll calm down. I'll, I'll calm down, guys. Oh my god. I knew it was gonna come. I knew it was gonna happen at some point. What? 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 We did hang out with a friend for like two seconds, but that's two seconds more than you. Oh, oh! Try to brush past Sora and get to the living room, but she grabs my arm and pulls me back. No, get the frick out of here. You're gone. Go, leave. Shoot. Nope, that's not how that works. お願い、冬打ちだったからあれ冬打ちだったからノーか、ノーカウント。通るかそんなの。ノー。どうしてお願い。ちょっとするだけじゃ、ちょっと。しない。我慢したご褒美に。何の我慢だよ。2日間甘
couple of losers. Oh, not too long ago, I would have shaken her off and told her she was being annoying, but while I still feel some of that, her cleanliness also makes me a little happy now. He's gone. He's he's totally gone. He's been reading too much of those those mangas where the the couples, you know, the the brother and sister get together. To be honest, I'm surprised with just how little guilt I feel about our taboo relationship. Maybe that's because I'm still in the honeymoon phase. Who knows? I might end up regretting everything once I calm down a little. But for now, I'm happy with things the way they are. Sora yawns and drops her phone on the table. They're gonna sleep together, aren't they? I get up and lay out the futon and fold it in the corner of my room. It's pretty tough lugging this all the way here from my parents' house. When I came back yesterday, it was just me, so I had the bed to myself, but with Sora staying over tonight, I had to procure another mattress, otherwise I'd be stuck to sleep in the sleeping bag again. あ、ほか。あ、そっか。一緒に寝たら2位に我慢できなくて私を襲っちゃうもんね。うん。もう終わってた。むしゅ。一番雑で笑いも何も生まないやつ。てかお前さ、しれっと止まってくよな。止まっ
話してよちょっとは楽になるかも高坂先輩は俺を気遣って自滅だって、うん、そうなるよう追い込んだのは俺だだからあればやっぱり I mean Kakura's not wrong I mean she wouldn't have done that if he didn't intervene it's the same thing that's going on in Corpse Factory right now Mm. Kind of, yeah. I mean, it was his intention to kill her, and she ended up dying, so. Sora says nothing, she just keeps holding my hand, but I'm trembling. Only now do I realize just how heavily Ghost's death has been weighing on me. I feel a bit embarrassed about Sora seeing me like this, but I no longer have the strength to pretend I'm fine. No. Kedo Kind of interesting hearing this from a protagonist. I feel like protagonists never usually get involved in this kind of thing. So it's interesting hearing him say, like, hey, I, I like regret this decision, you know? It was it was He could have found a more peaceful solution, maybe, but like this was the best solution. I feel like this was 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 what had to be done. And it's interesting getting to hear that from him. I mean, you were on a limited time. You had to make a decision. I wouldn't say it was the only way, but it was, I, in my opinion, the best way. As much as I hate saying that, like, I'm not, like, trying to condone murder or anything. But, I mean, she was going to kill you guys if you didn't kill her, so. The first thing out of Sora's mouth is an apology, but I don't know why. I look up at her face, but it's hard to make out her expression in the darkness. あるか先輩から聞いてたのもあるし、お兄ちゃん微妙に変だったし、ちょっと私励まし方とかわからなくて、最悪なことしちゃったお兄ちゃんが弱ってることわかってて、私のわがまま押し付けちゃってお兄
今まで生きてきて一番そうか Zora smiles back despite the darkness I can tell I わかってあげられないとは思うけど。でもお兄ちゃんがそうしようって思ったのは私のためだったり、宮子先輩のためだったり、みんなのためでしょ。きっと誰かがやらなくちゃいけないことで怖くて危ないこと、誰かのために自分
If I'm not allowed to show this, I'll, I'll remove it, but I'll, I'll, I'll try to show these. I feel like, I feel like after this, we deserve a little bit of, you know, wholesomeness. That was an interesting ending, though. I'm sure if I had the adult patch, it'd be a little bit different, but... I can say without the adult patch, though, like, it was... It wasn't too bad. They, they, they broached the topic of them, like, having feelings for each other without going too much. Like, obviously, I would have liked none, but if they were going to do it, like, it was definitely more tasteful than I thought it would be. Sophie. <laughs> Hi, Sophie. How's it going? It's the mastermind. Best girl. Let's go. That's why they saved her for last, because she's best girl. It, I mean, obviously, they have to show him last, because, you know. But, but best girl was right before him, so. Yep, it was a good route, though. Trying to think. Sorry, I'm not really saying much. I was kind of like being quiet there at the end, uh, just so they could like, she could confess her feelings and say, cheer him up and, and stuff like, you know? Try not to say too much. Oh my gosh. Always freaking showing this crap. I don't know if I have to mute this song or not. If it's copyrighted, I'm gonna have to mute it. Or I might just cut out this whole thing. But y'all are seeing this. I am jamming to it, so. Ben. Thank you, Ben. I'm glad you helped work on the game. I don't know who Ben is, but apparently uh, he helped work on this. And M. Ko Mia. Thank you for whatever you did for this game. And uh, Japanese characters. Thank you as well. Oh. No, no, they showed that, right? They showed where they were, like, about... Because in that scene, they didn't kiss, I don't think. Like, they got close. Right? I was surprised. In this version, they didn't even show them kissing at all. I wonder if that's, like, an 18-plus thing, because that's technically, like, a little taboo. So, yeah, I was surprised they didn't even have a CG or anything for the kissing. Now, this CG was awesome. I like this one. This one was, like, super wholesome. Sophie, we can never get out of here. Uh, Sophie's like grown on me so much as a character. Now that she's like opened up to us and been nicer, it's been really cool. Alright, what's the main title screen going to look like? Okay, hurry up, game. <laughs> Why is it a black screen? Hurry up. <laughs> oh, because we need to have the after credits scene. That sounded like Sophie's voice. Wait, what? Why does that sound like somebody I know? Nope, not allowed. Wait, what? Wait, what? 
Misogi wa sunda. That, that's not Yoichi, is it? Like, that isn't Yoichi? It sounds vaguely like him. Maybe I just want so badly for Yoichi to be bad. I'm just imagining him. Is that Yoichi? He got close to Renya. Okay. Don't let your little friend corner you. Or is this. I'm so lost. Please, please show me who this is. Let's freaking go! I knew it! I freaking knew it, guys! I, I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Y'all were trying to throw me off. I freaking knew Yoichi was bad! I knew it! They wouldn't have him in the game if he wasn't. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that this was what I waited for. Not all the sword crap. Screw that. This is what I wanted to see. Oh, so good. Let's go. <sighs> so good. Let's freaking go. Oh, episode three is going to be lit. Oh, it's going to be so good. I'm sorry I woke up my cat, but I'm just so excited. Heck yes. Whew. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Why is there another day? We're not done? We're not done? We're still going? Gosh, this the ending is so good. Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm still thinking about that. Yoichi being bad, I freaking knew it, guys. I knew it. Oh, I'm just so happy I called that one. I'm so happy I was right about it. And I called it too with his voice because I'm like, that sounds vaguely like Yoichi. It sounds vaguely like him. But I was like, ah, oh, the voice is a little different. They're trying to like throw me off a little bit. Called that one too. And I knew as I heard it, I'm like, hmm, this is Yoichi. Nobody else can be. I'm just so excited for y'all to like react to me figuring it out. I'm so excited. I, I know the comments are gonna be great. Captured by your sleeping face. Oh, it was another CG. Okay, I'll take it. Look at that. That's cute. I like that. I like that. お腹空いたから早くコンビニ行きたい。誰かさんのせいで朝ごはん食べ損ねた。自業自得だろ。分かったから話せって。いいじゃん。手を繋いで仲良しアピールしてこうよ。なんでだよ。あいつしつこんか
Her powers are activating. She's disappearing. Gosh, we haven't we haven't even seen what the freaking title screen looks like yet. Gosh dang, they're they're throwing CGs at us. Can I see the title screen now? Like, there's no other big surprise. I mean, I was more than happy, so I'm not complaining. Okay, they're just using this one. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I like this one, too. Oh, I didn't get the second one. Oh, because I haven't done the bad ending yet. Okay, guys, you know how, you know how this is going to be. we got to do the bad ending. Make this a longer episode. It, it was worth being a longer episode, okay? Alright, we are accepting Sora's feelings. A smile steals across her face, a smile full of warmth and reassurance above all happiness. She lets out a long, drawn-out sigh. Then, without a word, she closes her eyes. It's obviously at a glance what she's waiting for, but even knowing, I... Can't help but hesitate. I told Sora I'd do anything for her sake. I was so desperate to please her that I even agreed to be her boyfriend. But the fact remains we're siblings. Taking this commitment beyond mere words, truly becoming lovers, it would be wrong. Thank you. So this is the sensible ending. The bridge too far. However, I got no choice but to cross. Ah, oh, no, never mind. If I don't, Sora realize I don't have the guts to keep her promise to her, I'll be letting her down. If I refuse to cross this line with her, then I'm certain she'll... Growing a pace and Sora opens her eyes again. I waited too long. Sora must have realized I'm hesitating. Honestly, I can't blame her if she decides to just give up here and now. But she gives me one more chance. Another heartbreaking smile. I've got one knee on the table and both hands on her shoulders. She's not wrong. This is a pretty uncomfortable position to share a kiss. Sora gently takes my hand off my shoulders and gets to her feet. Standing, she looks down at me and waits. She just sits there silently waiting for me to jo join her and take her in my arms. Got to steal my resolve. Made my choice. Now I have to own up to the consequences for Sora's sake. I try to sound lighthearted as I get to my feet. I circle around the table and step in front of Sora. She closes her eyes again. Oh, frick. I was like opening the side panel again. <laughs> I do that a lot. The only silver lining of that move is that she can't see how stiff and nervous I look. Was this really the right decision? Trying to shake off my doubts, I put my hand on Sora's slender shoulders and then... I lean in closing the distance to her waiting lips. Oh, so this is where the CG came from. Did we? Didn't we already see this though? I thought we did. I could have sworn. Our lips touch. It's no mere brush of the lips, but a heated kiss, a lover's kiss, which I guess is what we are. Sora opens her mouth slightly and sighs, licking my lips. I feel her saliva coating them. I can tell she's waiting for me to take the next step. Oh, this is the bad end. That's beyond me. I don't have the courage to press my tongue into her mouth just yet. Sora sees from my hesitation, so she gives me a little shove. Tense as I am, I stumble backwards. Anyways, so <laughs> gives me an uncharacteristically earnest look. She licks her lips and smiles. Then begins taking a shuffle backwards, slowly inching away from me. Until she reaches the bed, she collapses onto it and rolls over. Sora pulls the covers up and turns back to me. Relief washes over me and I collapse into a heap on the ground. Did I do it? Can I keep her grounded this way? Did I really manage to save her from despair? Will this make her wanting, stop wanting to disappear? I want to believe I made the right choice. Sora's faint, regular breathing reaches my ears. She must have really been tired if she fell asleep already. I involuntarily put a finger to my lips. When we kissed, my heart definitely skipped a beat. It was a small thing, but I could feel it a little thrill, even if it was my own sister I was kissing. The realization confuses me. This is something I'm doing for Sora. This is my duty. At least that's what I keep telling myself, trying to drown out my lingering guilt. I wonder how this ending is going to go, then. I wonder how long it is. Sora's been asleep since the afternoon, because, yeah, I can't skip. As she slept, her stigma would occasionally rise to the surface of her skin like a pattern of translucent veins. Come to think of it, she's technically been using her powers constantly, hasn't she? Though she hasn't shown it, the exhaustion from doing so must be immense. No wonder she's sleeping so much. I've stayed by her side this whole time, worried she might disappear at any moment. In fact, I haven't gotten up to eat anything. While I watched over her as she slept, a lot of memories, both old and new, resurfaced. It may have appeared that Sora's confession was about as sudden as they get, but it wasn't... Excuse me. It wasn't entirely unexpected. 
For a long time now, I vaguely suspected she was harboring feelings for me. I wonder if this is supposed to be like the, hey, you like went too fast too early and like you didn't really build it up. Because like obviously Kakuru, I don't feel like he's the kind of guy who would like get with his sister without like a little bit of a, a push, you know? So maybe it was a little uncharacteristic and that's why this is like the bad ending technically. Uh, when we were kids, Sora never hesitated to tell me how much she loved me. Even as she grew older and became a little less vocal about her affection, it was still clear she was attached to me. But it was only a few months before I started living alone that I began to suspect her feelings for me went past familial love. One day I found a photo album on Sora's desk. In retrospect, I probably should have done a flip through it without permission. But at the time, I thought it was just a family album. I wanted to reminisce about old times, so I opened it without thinking. After all, Sora had been taking pictures of our, all of our family trips. She even made me come with her to get them all developed. I never suspected it was more than a rec record of happy family memories. How wrong I was. Oh gosh, we're actually getting to see a, like, a lot more, though. Like, It kind of sucks that that wasn't technically the good ending, because I feel like this is showing us a lot of things we never got to see before. Like, you really need, do need to play both. Uh, the album was filled with pictures of me. Every last one of them, a picture of me alone or with Sora. I kind of liked how episode one did it, where you had to get a bad ending first, and then you got the true ending. I feel like, because that way you had to get all the content to get the true ending. I feel like this, like, I could have totally skipped over this, and I would have been happy. But, uh, I like that we're seeing a little bit more. Some I remembered her taking, others she definitely took without my knowledge. Why is there a stupid fly? Why is it fly around my face when I'm trying to record? <sighs> Many were family pictures, but with our parents cropped out, often zoomed in on me. Oops, gosh. Can I, like, not do that? <laughs> I don't want that thing to pop up. The album Sora had preserved only her memories of me, and though I felt guilty at the thought, the sight of it went, uh, sent a wave of nausea through me. I certainly love Sora, but as family, as my sister. Once I saw that album, I began to suspect that the love Sora felt for me was not the same as mine for her. Her obsession was abnormal and unhealthy. It was wrong. I bet she knew that too, and that was why she, ever since she had puberty, she started burying her feelings. She stopped telling me she loved me. But while on the surface she acted like an ordinary sister, her hidden feelings didn't go away. I'm sure Sora never meant for anyone to find that album. She certainly had intended for me to see it. And frankly, it was my mistake as well, opening up without permission. After I saw what was inside, though, I decided it would be best to pretend I hadn't and say nothing at all to Sora. And that's what I did. But from that day on, I grew wary of her. I know I'm biased since we were family, but I really do think Sora is cute. From what I've heard, she gets asked out all the time. However, she's turned on every one of her would-be boyfriends. Once I asked her why she never dated anyone, this is what she told me. At the time, I just shrugged off those words. Oh, you're not shrugging them off now. That was, the person, that was before I saw her album. Once I did, I began to wonder, what if the person she likes is me? What stops her from going out with any other guy? Personally, I would have thought both that was both unhealthy and unnatural. Not a good situation at all. I thought to myself, maybe I was just misunderstanding. If so, great. But if not, if the reason Sora had asked for her own room was to protect this secret of hers, then this was a real problem. If she was worried about me seeing her album and what it implied, then that meant I should put some distance between us. So when my father asked if I had any interest in living on my own, I said yes without a second thought. And that's how I moved up a house. See, this is, like, really interesting stuff to know. Like, I feel like this is stuff we really, uh, we're missing, right? So he's talking about, uh, being worried about what the album and that implied. I should put some distance between us. So when my father asked if I had an interest in living my own, I said yes, I had a second thought. Like, this is kind of important to the story a little bit. Like, it kind of explains how we got out of the house and, and, and all that. I thought that if I spent less time with Sora, taboo feelings would fade. But they didn't. Sora's love for me only continued to grow, but they just kept it hidden. She just kept it hidden. The only reason she revealed it to me now is because... As the stigma's erosion progresses, the artifact's user becomes unable to contain their desires. That's what Sophie said. If that's true, it just means Sora just became unable to keep her feelings hidden any longer, and that means she's almost at her limit. She's teetering on the brink of disappearing. What choice did I have but to cave into her feelings? What choice did I have but to kiss her? If I hadn't, Sora would have... Sora tosses and turns in her sleep. She still hasn't woken up. She just not gonna wake up? Is that how this ending goes? Night falls and Sora's still asleep. She slept the whole day away now. Kujo hasn't even messaged me once in that time. Though even if she did message, it's not like I can use my phone right now, so I wouldn't be able to reply. 
bet everyone's forgotten about us already. Or maybe the truth is we both disappeared and just haven't realized it. Now we're the only two people who can see each other now. The fear that's already happened starts to grow within me. But I know we still haven't disappeared. Sophie's still- or Sora's still here. She's still alive. I worry that she's been sleeping for too long, but at least in her dreams she won't be dwelling on her despair. Maybe it's even for the best that she sleeps as much as she can. The day's almost over. Shouldn't be long now until Sophie completes the medicine that can cure her. I'm planning on staying awake until she finally does show up. I have no idea how long it might take, but I'm not sleeping. That said, I should probably turn off the lights so Sora can sleep soundly. Seriously, I should have done that hours ago. I can't believe I'm so thoughtless. I get up and flip the switch. A moment later, Sora stirs. Gosh, can this fly go away? <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. Uh, or, or that's what I did when I was younger. I would just like kind of wake up and fall back asleep when I was sick. Kind of go in and out of it. Sit down next to the bed and hold Sora's hand like I used to when we were young. Sora yanks my hand forward. She then lifts the covers. She wants to sleep together. In other words, can't refuse her. Sora scoots over the edge, making room for me. I clamber onto the bed and lie down. The moment I'm settled, Sora wraps her arms around me. Sora leans in. We share a kiss. After a few seconds, Sora pulls away and sighs. Yeah, I like the other ending better. There was a lot less of this. I just skip over this? Does anyone mind? Sora closes her eyes, her arms still around me. I stroke her hair and let myself relax as well. We actually kissed. We did something we can never take back, but I don't mind. As long as I keep Sora happy, I don't care about anything else. At least this way, she... She gonna disappear? Oh, yeah, she's disappearing. Yeah, certainly the bad ending. I can see that. Rory? Kakeru? When I wake up, my mind is foggy. The distinctive plushy outline of Sophie enters my blurred vision. What time is it? Two in the morning. Yeah, he wasn't supposed to fall asleep. I jump to my feet. I remember now. The Ambrosia. Sora. <laughs> I don't think we care about that right now. <laughs> Ready to pull up my underwear and pants back on. Ew, is that implying something? What happened? I wonder if that's implying there was an H scene there or something. Turn back to the bed, but Sora is not there. She's not on the bed. Shout her name, but there's no reply. I scramble off my off my bed and turn on the lights. I run into the living room, then I check the bathroom, but she's not here. She's not anywhere. Sora's not here. It's only when I look at the entrance that I realize Sora's shoes are gone. I run back to the, my living room. Start turning the whole place inside out. It's not here. Sora's bag isn't here. Sora <laughs> いや、ただぼーっとして。違う。寝ぼけていたんじゃない。あの子、一人で消えることを選んだみたい。そんなはず。Grow 
Growing hysterical, I pick up my phone. I quickly unlock and start flipping through my contacts list. It's only when I'm pre about to press call that I realize. Sora's powers aren't affecting me anymore. Then she she must have regained control of them, right? She has to be it, right? Yeah, I don't think that's it. Panicking, I press the call button. The phone begins to ring. Sora, Dero, Ayak, Sora, Dero, Dero, Dedekre, Sora. Denaiwayo. Still holding the ringing phone in my hands, I run towards the door. Wait for me, Sora. I'll be right there. I'll save you. I won't let you disappear alone, I swear it. I put on my shoes and unlock the door. I'm on my way, Sora. I grab the doorknob. I'll be right there. Just give me a, a minute. I... Is he forgetting her again? I stiffened up, my hand still on the doorknob. It feels like something just vanished. There's this... Vague feeling that something's missing. Yep, he's already forgotten about her. All that's left is a keen sense of loss. I what? What was I trying to do just now? Sophie. Turn around. Sophie watches his watches me expressionlessly. She just hovers there looking at me quietly. Dang, this would have been a terrible ending. I don't understand, but I get the feeling she was precious to me. In fact, she was the most important person in the world. She was... Who was she? <sighs> She's vanishing. No matter how hard I try to remember, I can't. She's disappearing, and as every trace of her vanishes, I lo lose my treasured memories. I swore I'd never forget her. She's the most important thing in the world to me, yet my memories of her are fading away. Stop this. Please, don't go. These memories are too precious to lose. I can't remember them, but I know how dear they are to me. Please don't disappear. Please stop. Anything but this. Interesting. So this is where the, the beginning comes in, then. Okay. So they, they still did have a bad ending. They just didn't force it on you. I kind of liked when they forced it better. Okay, so this is like what happens at the at the start of the game if you don't press I remember. If you went and did this, you just forget. Interesting. Is this going to take us back to the home screen then? Or is there going to be more? Yeah, that would have been a depressing ending. Ew. I'm, I'm not, I mean, I, I guess it would have been better to do that first. Go back to your choice. Interesting. So it's like the first game where it has like kind of. Huh? Okay. So it just takes you back there. Interesting. Um, I want to know. Uh, for a cataway. How do I get back to the main menu here? Uh, turn to idol. Okay, so now we have this one. Okay, I've done everything, guys. I I, I said I was going to do both endings. I wanted to do both. But, um, interesting. Okay. I mean, not bad, though. I liked it. It was good. Uh, that was a sad ending, though. I would have been disappointed if that was the end, right? Uh, definitely better to, to go ahead and, and get this ending. Very interesting, though. They kind of mask that choice. Because, like, oh, deny her her feelings. I mean, that would probably make her disappear, right? It's like, no, that's more char characteristic of Sora, of Kakaru. So I feel like Sora would have appreciated that more. And then things ended up working out for them. But uh, anyways, guys, that is the ep the end of episode two of 9-9. Nine -Nine. Um, pretty good. Like I said, I do like Sora as a character. Sora is a good character. I mean, nobody's denying that, right? I just, like I said, not a huge fan of them being blood-related brother and sister and getting together. Uh, my mind didn't change. But I, I can see what you guys mean. It was it was definitely better than I would have thought they would have handled that. Uh, it, it was pretty wholesome. I think besides the bad end. I mean, the bad end, they like kissed a little bit more and got a little more into that. Uh... 
maybe there's an H scene. I don't know where the H scenes were exactly. I have my guesses. It kind of seemed like there might have been one in both endings, but I'm not too sure. Uh, I'm sure y'all will point it out. But uh, yeah, that was good. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit longer episode, an hour and 40 minutes. Um, but I did, I did enjoy this. I, I really did. And we can't freaking forget about that ending. I freaking knew it. I knew it was Yoichi. I knew it. Y'all, y'all were, y'all were nice. Nobody said anything that would have spoiled me to that. I'm gonna be honest. All the comments I read, nobody like really pointed it out or y'all pointed out maybe some suspicions, but you're like, oh, there was that one time, but the rest of the time, uh, there's nothing really suspicious. <sighs> you were, you guys were good. You, you did your job. You didn't spoil me on it. Thank you. But, uh, now I can say, yep. I knew it. I knew he was bad. I knew he had something to do with the story, something bigger. I, I, I'm, I'm smarter than that. Okay, I'm not, I'm not smart, but I, I am smart enough to tell that he uh, has a bigger play in the story here. But anyways, guys, I'll, I'll stop boring you with my, my incessant Yoichi is a mastermind thing because, because he was, he was the mastermind. I knew it. Um, but I'm excited for the next episode then. Hopefully we'll get to see him doing more evil things. That would be nice now that we know. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited for the next one. Uh, I'll probably play it here in the next few days. I don't know. I have another game I've been wanting to play. Um, Let's see. I got one of these. I don't know if my camera will focus on it. Probably not. But I got one of those. So I can actually record my Switch now. So I've been thinking about maybe doing a couple of games that are only on Switch. Um, so maybe, maybe you'll see one of those, but, uh, anyways, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this and I will be seeing you in episode three. Very exciting. So have a good one.